All right, so we got this week at Bungie, we're extending Season of Arrivals. The launch date for our next expansion, Destiny 2 Beyond Light, has been moved to November 10th, 2020. If you missed the full announcement, you can check it out here. We'll wait until you've given it a read. Roll through this, all right. We made the decision to move the release of Destiny 2 Beyond Light to November 10th as the first chapter in a new trilogy of expansions. Beyond Light is the beginning of a new era of Destiny 2. We have a powerful story to tell and incredible new features that we're really excited for players to experience. As always, our goal is to make the coolest, most entertaining expansion we can possibly make for our fans. To that end, we are doing what's best for the game and moving the launch date. The past few months has been a challenge and will continue to be during this pandemic. We've learned to create together in a new way by having to work apart from one another. Despite these hurdles, we still commit to the same level of quality that our fans expect. Over the coming weeks, we'll be unveiling more of what we're working on for Beyond Light and what also means for Season of Arrivals, which will now extend to November 10th. Beyond Light sets the stage for incredible feature, uh, an incredible future in Destiny 2. Though it's coming later than we originally anticipated, we're excited to continue what journey with the journey with you this November. All right, want to turn it off? As if for that. Cool. All right, up to speed. While we're sad to keep the secrets of Europa under wraps for a few extra weeks, our dev team is putting in the work to deliver an adventure that is worthy of your bravery. Doing that work for our, from our homes finds us very far away from our usual ideal of working together in the studio. Currently still quarantined, we're taking the time we need to do it right under the most challenging of conditions. With the extra time between September and November, we have some plans to make the most of to make the most of the suddenly longer season. Destiny 2 season of arrivals is the calendar, so let's see what we got. But begins June 9th to the 10th. Obviously, contacts on IO, all that stuff is here. July 7th, moments of triumph um has started as well dungeon has been released already solstice of heroes starts on august 11th to, the se to, to september 8th all right mission interference and weekly quests also refreshing that's also currently going on and the festival of the lost yay october uh starts on october 6th to november 3rd that should be pretty cool can't wait for that i actually want that um armor that they got with the skeletons on it i'm hoping that comes back and i'm hoping verdant forest comes back at some point That'd be kind of cool to run through that again. I was just thinking about that the other day, too. Um, all right, let's go on. Moments of triumph will be expended, <laughs> extended to November 10th, cutting it close on some of those tr tougher triumphs. Here's a little extra time to finish them. The show must go on. Festival of the Lost will now take place during Season of Arrivals, beginning in October 6th. We're planning a handful of ritual activity modifiers to look forward to. Increase Valor, Infamy, and Increase Redacted. Don't know what that is. Hopefully, that's probably something involved in the Verdant Forest thing. Um, a few additional Iron Banner events between September and November and more. So more Toxic Banner. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Um, we know that no amount of infamy or valor will keep your hunger sati satiated, but we uh, will have a few more surprises to share on the road to launch. Stay tuned. In the meantime, the pages that appear on the next day, we reveal Beyond Light have been updated with all the new and relevant information. Bookmark them or pass them along to your friends. Some in-game UI elements will not reflect the new launch date until further updates. All right, so if you haven't seen this page already, obviously, trailer page, they've done a few different updates. Obviously, I see the changes already. Basis, they're talking about the new, uh, obviously, new, new power coming in. So if you want to go check that out, obviously go to Bungie.net uh, and, and dig through the twop and get to that. It is Bungie.net slash Beyond Destiny Beyond Light. So hit that up if you want to see any more stuff. What was this? I saw something. Hold up. Might have been at the bottom. Like this edition and all that stuff. Cool, cool, cool. Like it already. All right. Maybe we are conquerors. Contrary to what Savala believes among uh believes many among you have conquered have become conquerors last season with the introduction of the grandmaster nightfalls difficulty even though we tuned the challenge up to 11 you were able to smash through the ranks of enemy combatants and earn your prizes while this season will follow the same flow completing all available nightfalls on grandmaster difficulties to earn the conqueror title we made some adjustments to activity rewards to make things feel a bit more fruitful 
As a refresher, here are some patch notes from Destiny 2 Update 2.9.0. Nightfall, the ordeal. Increases, increased masterwork material drops from Grandmaster Nightfall difficulty. Grandmaster completion at platinum, gold, and silver levels now have a higher chance of dropping an exotic armor item. Grandmaster completion of platinum level now guarantees one ascended shard with a small chance at an additional one and four enhancement prisms with a moderate chance at one to two additional. Grandmaster completion at gold level now guarantees two prisms and a moderate chance at two additional. Grandmaster completion at silver level has a small chance at two enhancement prisms. So if you're on the hunt for the perfectly rolled exotic armor piece, or if you're trying to fully masterwork as many armor pieces as possible, it's almost time to put your skills to the test Slay the darkness, claim the loot. Grandmaster becomes available on Tuesday, July 21st at 10 a.m. next week. Sounds enticing. Might have to dip in it at this season because ugh, last season just wasn't worth the effort. 100%. All right. Might have seemed like it, but it wasn't. Definitely wasn't. Now, absolutely. I get one guaranteed ascendant shard no matter what. All right. With a chance to get a second one. And the, the prisms is just an added bonus. Now, if they increase the cap on the inventory on that, that would be even better. So I can stockpile these joints. Cause I'm not always I'm not I'm not one to just constantly master work armor. I'm I'm just not. So I, I would love to have a, a stockpile of these materials in case I don't want to go into to grind for them. All right, I might have a, a, a time frame like now. I'm not farming anything at at this moment. I'm not, or I'm not to the point of where I'm, I'm ready to do some farming and, and activities like that. So we'll see. All right. Farming with dogs. Let's see. Last week was a uh, pretty crazy. Bungie day brought an update on destiny 2, unlocking a new exotic quest, new umbral engrams and more five raids also entered features status, losing their weekly lockout loot lockouts. In other words, players can play the featured raids multiple times a week to grind out high stat armor and raid exotics that they may not have earned if they earned yet if they've been taking a swing at the moments of triumph objectives this year you may also notice that the contenders go shell from prestige leviathan has become available for through a triumph all right in the last few days an issue came to light with the contender shell perks also lost their loot lockouts combined with some raid encounters that could be completed in under five minutes this led to an incredibly quick way to earn bright engrams with further increased legendary shard and glimmer earn rates. As such, the Seeker of Brilliance perk has been temporarily disabled. Our current goal is to have a hot fix in early August that ends the weekly lockout, that adds the weekly lockout back to the specific perk. Once we have more information on an expected patch date, we will let you know at Bungie Help via Twitter. As a note, the Seeker of Opulence perk remains active. If you're looking to round out your exotic collection on or earn better rolls on exotic armor, this ghost shell before jumping into the Leviathan rates. All right, so keep note on that. Ghost, ghost shell perks are messed up and farm the raids. I mean, we've already known that. So, uh, let's see, continued support. Earlier this week, Destiny, Hot, Destiny 2 Hotfix 2.9.1.1 was released in addressing a collection of issues that impacted controller inputs and game, general gameplay. Player support team has a quick list of high frequency issues that were resolved in a collection of other bugs that we're tracking. This is their report. Beyond light release date, as announced previously, the new release date is November 10th. With the changes, the end dates of the seasonal season of arrivals and moments of triumph have also been pushed back. As well, the implementation of related systems such as moving or of certain activities to the Destiny Content Vault and the effect of max power level through infusion have also been pushed back. All right, so we got it. We get a few, little. We get another like an extra two months on uh, our stuff. So that's pretty cool. Now, let's see. Resolved the issues on Tuesday, July fourteenth. The hot fix help fix wither hordes projectiles that appear randomly on the screen when using abilities or when stowed away. The reassigned interact button didn't revive players on custom controller schemes. And glide jump canceling warlocks and titans auto jumped after landing. Yeah, that was annoying. Um, hunters kneeled after dodging when holding crouch, but stood when toggle crouch was on. The fencing salute emote was broken. Um, allowed players to get out of the environment. The emissary whisper triumph has been removed. Players can get stuck in the privacy dungeon hallway between the wasteland and the hexahedron. 
areas. Didn't know that one. I'm about to go in there this week too. Um, I'm gonna see if I can solo it. Straight from the rip. That'd be a good challenge. Um, not solo flawless though. Uh, not yet anyway. Current known issues. While we're continuing investigating various known issues, here's a list of the latest issues that were reported to us on the help forums. If you guys want to know more about these and read these all right here, go on the website and look at it yourself. No, no, no uh, note that the contenders go shell is broken. Some players still can't progress the means to an inquest, um, but there are ways around that. It's like going, if you get a uh, jump onto somebody's fire team or something like that when they're already in it um, to, to get the, the interference question uh, mission. And they're still uh, checking out the beaver errors. All right. There's more things going on in the background, stuff that that's kind of like pushed off to the side, but not too, too, you know, hurt. That's not hurting too many people. Um, but there's a full list. You can go, obviously, Bundy.net, check that out, do what you got to do. Um, and that's it. Got your movies of the week all throughout here. Go check those out if you want to see them. All right. Major announcement like the one we dropped today creates some questions. We know also what you want answers to some of those other questions you've been asking since the original reveal of Beyond Light. Those answers were hard to come by in the recent weeks while we re refracted our deadlines and development cycles. The good news is that now we have more time to tell you everything you need to know about how to, this expansion will change Destiny 2 in the weeks and months to come. We'll share all that information with you in time leading up to November 10th. It's gonna be kind of rough, man. But I can't wait. So that's the twab. Um, not really this point. I'm actually happy we're getting some extra time. I'm glad that they they spoke on pushing everything back. Uh, kind of get that sweet spot. I don't want them to say use words like you know we want to get it right and all that kind of stuff. But I'm happy that they got things in order or they're getting things in order and get ready to spit that out the way that it should. Not the way that it should be, but at least some, somewhat good for us. All right, pushback means. It's taking more time to deal with quality and all that kind of stuff. So that's a plus. So thanks for listening to me ramble on about that right here. Uh, I'm going to throw this on YouTube in a couple minutes. So if you are watching on YouTube right now, I'm live on Twitch. I'll be live for the rest of the evening, probably as long as I can stay up. All right. So. Come check me out, twitch.tv slash silence is waffles. See you in a bit.